Hi there guys, Cromad here with iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh and today we're going to be going over some of the ways in which we can export our videos. So if you do have other videos that you need converting into a different format or if you have made your own video then we can use this to uh, create a number of what are known as uh, deliverables. So I have this, this video here that I've made earlier and I'm just gonna shorten that down a little. Just take uh, maybe a 20 second patch. There we go, I have used this in a previous video. Um, there we go. So what I have here is total time 32 seconds and just showing some diving uh, off the coast of Indonesia. With marine life in their world. There we go. So say maybe I wanted to send this to a friend or you know, whatever. So I'm just going to click, uh, and this is the main thing, export. It's very simple. So now you can change this uh, just to export for your computer. So as you see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different ways to upload and export our videos. So I'm going to rename this, uh, Diving, Raja, um, Pat. And that's going to automatically go to the video editor output folder. We can change that by clicking others here. We can also change the format from a wide range of formats, including ProRes, which is really the, the, the kind of industry, well, an industry standard codec. Um, then we can do QuickTime, MOV, MP4, M4V, Windows Media, uh, AVIs, and various Flash formats, as well as Matroshka, TS, M MPEG-2, and 3GP, uh, which is native to a number of uh, cell phones, I believe. We can change the resolution. And we've got some set 16 to 9 aspect ratio resolutions here. Um, okay, so... 1080p, and we can also change the frame rate, which will reconform the video. Hitting config here will allow us to change the codec the resolution again and input a custom resolution here. The frame rate, and again, we can put in a custom frame rate and the bit rate as well. And I'm gonna bump that up to 18,000, which is uh, high quality, reasonably speaking. My audio codec is going to be Apple lossless, stereo, can change the sample rate and the bit rate of the audio, and uh, video editor for Mac will give me a brief approximate size. Next up, we can export for devices, and that's going to automatically change uh, what type of um, codec we're using. So that's going to change which uh, type of codec we're going to use automatically um, for things like iPhone, iPad, um, Apple TV, and there's an Apple TV 1080p mode as well, Apple TV. If I hit config there, we'll see that it's just using the H.264 codec there. We can also do things for iPods, which is going to change the resolution. And if I go to Android generic, Again, that's going to change that to suit just any old generic phone. We can do it for PlayStation and PSP as well. I'm just going to default to 480 by 272. So that's how to export for your devices. Next up, we can export for YouTube and Vimeo. This is going to require an internet connection. And you just sign straight in with your Google account. And you'll be able to upload everything and tag everything directly from the software. So we can select the category here. We can increase our title, change the quality from good, better to best, add a description, add our tags, and set privacy as well within the software. And I'll skip sign in there. We can do the same for Facebook video. 
requiring a sign-in and description. Vimeo, again, viewable, we can set privacy, people I follow on Vimeo, only me. Uh, tags and platform-specific uh, tags and delineations there. Finally, we can output to DVD. I'm using a MacBook Air, so I won't be able to hear, as there's no disk. Um, please connect optical driver. So if you do have a super drive on your Mac or an external um, DVD burner, then you can directly create a DVD, including a DVD menu, um, which you can just pick from the template there. And change the TV standard from NTSC to PAL. If you are in the UK or Japan, then you'll want to set PAL. And NTSC is for most of the rest of the world. Aspect ratio 16 to 9 or 4 to 3. And we can burn that straight to an ISO as well, uh, which will deliver it straight to your computer. And we do get some information here on the size as well. So that's a little overview on the various deliverable formats that you can export from Video Editor for Mac. I've been Comrade. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you next time. Why are you